Alright, as you can see, we're in Porty. Um, we've just anchored up. We just anchored up on some of our favourite weed patches down here. And the aim today is to pretty much catch a few squid. But as much as we love eating them, these ones are going to be for the snapper to eat. Because obviously, snapper season is fast approaching. And I um, thought we found a bit of a gap in the weather. A lovely Sunday evening and we thought we'll come out and um, collect some bait for snapper season. But as you guys know, that could be a bit of a expensive process. And obviously in terms of bait for snapper, calamari is absolutely dynamite, especially if you get it fresh straight out of the bay. Throw it straight into a, into a vacuum sealed bag and chuck them in the freezer. And then when you go out, take them out, let them thaw out, cut them into beautiful squid rings. So that's the aim. Yeah, obviously snapper season hasn't really kicked off yet. They've been there have been a few fish caught here and there, but it's obviously still pretty early season. So my aim is going to be to get out there, hopefully in the next week or two, I'm going to try Western Port, Coronella, sort of early season Western Port. I'm not going to waste my time with Port Phillip Bay too early. Obviously it's a big expanse of water to cover and they are harder to locate and, and, and get going. So probably anchor up on in one of the channels up in the shallows in Western Port over the next couple of weeks. And then as we come to sort of mid-October, Early November, that's when I'll start heading out towards the usual marks in Port Phillip Bay. But yeah, to, the aim today is to get a few squid. Even if we can get just half a bag, to be honest, I'll be pretty happy. Are you sure you're stuck? I reckon you got a squid on. Because they're, they're big squids at this time of year as well. Yeah, it's a squid, mate. First squid of the day. And I reckon it's not going to be a small one either. Missing. Here we go. That's why you always bring your missus with you. She's always a lucky charm. May as well use the net, eh? I'm going to get in my hands all slimy. Put the rod tip down. Here she comes. First bit of snapper bait. Unless she wants to eat it. Yep, got it. Beautiful. It's like medium size. Not huge, but... And that. Beautiful, there is our first squid for the day. Perfect size to get a few rings out of. Use the head as bait as well. No snappers. I'm not gonna resist that. Oh, I got, I got, I got. Yeah, I think it is. Did it come off? I reckon it come off. All right, they're here. Better start throwing my one out as well. In that same direction. There we go. Nice. Oh, this one's pulling a bit of drag. Look at that. I missed you, Billy. <laughs> it's been a while, eh? He's only just hooked on the candle, this one. So take it easy. It's right on the candle, tip of the candle. So put the net in behind it because obviously they squirt backwards. Whoa! There we go. How's the new net? Lovely. Yeah, heaps better. Keep going, keep going. Another beautiful specimen there. And as you can see there, that's the uh, squid jig that we're using. So it's a widening imitation. And I. And I, like I always say, I prefer using natural looking squid jigs. I just think um, you obviously want to imitate what they see in the water. So I always go with the uh, natural looking baits just to be safe. And there you go, you got two hits on that one. So another one here. It's a 
leave mine hanging out the back. What's we'll the deal with this one? Small line, this one. Maybe not. Let's pull you a bit of drag. Fair way out. Right, she's pretty much got all of them. I've got absolutely nothing so far. Nothing to show for my day. It comes in. No point rushing it. Bring the net in behind it. Another beautiful squid on the whiting invitation. Killing it today. There it is there. It's probably it's probably more on the smaller end of what you get here. You do get some big ones, especially during this time of year when the squids go out to lay their eggs. So you do get those big mummers, but um, it's probably about a medium-sized squid, and that's probably the smallest you want in terms of cutting up for rings for snapper bait. So that's gonna be perfect. So I've got three. Three in the bag now, if we can get a few more, that'll um, set us in good stead for a few snapper sessions. And I think, I reckon the missus is like, what are you on about? I want to eat them myself. <laughs> Around here for another half an hour to an hour. However many we get, we get. That was all we managed for that session, but all good. Squid baits go a long way. And with another midweek session, we're now locked and loaded, ready for snapper season.